Hello children. Today we are going to learn very important topic of finding the pattern. So let's get started. And if you are new on our channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. To complete any pattern, the first step is to identify the logic or the rule behind the pattern. And if we are able to find the rule, then we can easily complete the pattern. So here we have one moon, one star. Again, one moon, one star. One moon, one star. One moon, one star. So the rule over here is star is placed next to moon. Let's complete the pattern. What will come at the place of underline? So the first step will be to identify the rule. What is the rule? A star is placed next to moon. <coughs> and the pattern continues. So here we have moon, star, moon, star. What will come? A moon. If we are able to find the rule, we can easily complete the pattern. Red circle, one green circle. Again, a red circle. Again, a green circle. Red circle. After that, a green circle. So, what is the rule over here? One green circle will be placed after red circle. And the pattern will continue. So, what will come at the blank space? A green circle. Because the rule is, a green circle will be placed after a red circle. Complete the pattern. So first, we'll identify the rule. A square, a triangle. Square, triangle. So what will come next? Again, a square and a triangle. This is called AB, AB pattern. Means one square, one triangle. One square, one triangle. One square, one triangle. Complete the pattern. Sun, moon, sun, moon, sun. What will come next? A moon. Because the rule was a moon is placed next to sun. A single moon is placed next to sun. So a moon will be next to sun. What will come next to six? Let's identify the rule. The first thing we can see, this is a forward counting. Or the next number is 1 greater than the previous number. So after 6, we will have 7. Here in the first box, we have A, B, C. The second box, we have A, B, B, C. In the third box, we have A, B, 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 C. So, what will be the rule over here? And what will come in the last box, in the blank space? So, let's identify the rule. In the first box, we have 1B between A and C. In the second box, we have 2B between A and C. In the third box, we have 3B. So, in the last box, we will have 4B between A and C. See, if we identify the rule and the logic behind the pattern, we can easily complete it. Now, what will come in the blank space in the last box? So, what is the rule? One arrow between two circle, two arrow between two circle, three arrow between two circle. What will come next? Four arrow between two circle. So here we have two green circle, one violet circle, two green circle, one violet circle, two green circle, one violet circle. So what is the rule over here? We can see a 
one violet circle is followed by two green circle. So that will be the rule, and accordingly, pattern will continue. Fill in the blank. What will come? At the blank space. Three object we have to fill. So the rule over here is two green circle followed by one violet circle. Two green circle followed by a violet circle. So the next we will have two green circle followed by a violet circle. 